Welcome to the second section of this tutorial. In this section, we are going to learn what is React Router, why do we need React Router and various concepts related to it. For example, intentional navigation using the link component, programmatic navigation and more about how does React Router store the history object and how does it manages the browser history and the client side routing. We are also going to see what do we mean by server side routing and client side routing. We are also going to see various types of routers, for example, the browser router, the hash router and the memory router. So all of this we are going to understand in this second section. I am super excited for it and I hope that you are excited as well because there are so many things to learn in this section. So let's get started. Before going further, let's start setting up our application. Let's start installing the dependencies so that we don't have to wait for the installation while we are uh, starting our application. So we can do this very quickly and then we'll jump back to some theoretical concepts. So all I want you to do is I want you to open your local project directory, any folder in your computer. Just open it and open the terminal inside it or command prompt according to your operating system so i've opened this command prompt cool so let's create a boilerplate using create react app as always i'm going to uh, name uh, i'm going to use create react app so let's type it out npx create react app and the name of our app is going to be portfolio this time perfect so by the time this happens this is going to happen parallelly by the time it happens let's cover a few theoretical concepts also don't forget to install these two dependencies as well react router dom for the react router and react burger menu for the hamburger menu which we saw in the previous uh, sections in the design. I also want you to go to this link which is the leanprogrammer.com slash portfolio hyphen assets dot r a r. Basically this contains a few images and stuff like that because um, so that you can take those boilerplate images you can take those images and start creating your app with me of course later on you can replace all of those images and create your own personalized and custom portfolio application but so that you can follow along with me just go to this website the leanprogrammer.com slash portfolio hyphen assets dot rap and download these assets perfect and don't forget to install these two independencies as well as soon as this uh, finishes installing but don't install on the same directory so just a little bit introduction about this command basically this is a create react app command where it's going to create a new folder named portfolio inside which you will have your pro uh, project so you should go inside that portfolio uh, and then run these two commands i'm going to tell you don't worries don't worry on that oh so it already was successful Perfect. So what I can do here is I can cd into portfolio. So basically this command creates a new directory uh, with the same name as the name of the project here which is portfolio and we can go inside that project folder which is portfolio and once we are inside that project we can run these two commands. So I'll open it in the side. So just let's do it npm install react hyphen router hyphen dom and react burger menu these two dependencies perfect let's do this and by the time it gets installed we are going to see a little bit of things of all also for uh, just one more thing before we go further let's quickly download our portfolio assets as well so they are um, present inside the leanprogrammer.com slash portfolio hyphen assets dot com Perfect. So let's go to our web browser and I already have this link open for you. Just press enter and it's going to download a portfolio assets um, file. Oh. Perfect. So I have that open and I will copy that file into just uh, follow along with me here inside our project directory i had a portfolio folder so side by side i have copied the assets that i downloaded so just go inside that portfolio and go to the src directory again i repeat myself 
So, so go to the portfolio folder. Inside that you will see node modules, public, SRC and so on. And then go inside the SRC. I know a few of the people watching this video are going to make this mistake. That's why I'm going a little bit slow. I know you won't make it, but trust me, a few people watching this video are definitely going to make this mistake. And then they are going to face a lot of issue in uh, importing the assets and, and all those stuff because the assets won't be there. So yes, uh, just do one thing, just go inside the portfolio, then SRC and then here just paste it and then extract it out in the same directory. So you will see a new folder named assets here. So all these assets will be, these are basically just some random vectors, some um, logos and all those stuff. So this is perfectly awesome. This is super cool. Let's go back and then now let's do one thing uh, let's continue with our theoretical sections let's see how far did it reach yes this is also continuing and then before ending this video let's quickly see what is react router and why do we need it i know i am 100 percent sure that by the name itself you can guess what is react router if you did not till now, let me tell you what it is. What is it? So React Router is basically um, a library which allows you to create navigation for your application. Very simple, as simple as that. So let's say if uh, I click on this button, so this route will change into slash web slash guides slash quick hyphen start as simple as that so this is the route so it creates it enables you to create routes for your single page application so of course your single page application won't always be single page uh, if you know what i mean so yes for example let's take an example of uh, facebook.com so in the facebook.com you have facebook.com and then facebook.com slash profile and then let's say if you want to message a specific person then probably it would be something like i'm not sure whether this is the case but it would be something very similar to facebook.com slash messages slash some message id or something like that now this routing itself can happen in two ways it can either happen on the server side or it can happen on the client side. Now React Router allows us to handle, handle the user navigation at client side in our React application. So that's why we use React Router. I hope that you were able to understand the overview of what React Router is. That was just a high level overview that it allows you to create navigation inside your React application. And this is why we use React Router. Now in the next video, we are going to discuss what is server side routing and what is client side routing. And then we are going to finally start creating our code. See you in the next video. Bye bye. And make sure that you follow these steps very carefully. The first step was the create react app step where we created a CRA boilerplate for our project. The next steps were to install these two dependencies, which is React Router DOM and React Burger Menu. And the next step was to download the assets. And then after you downloaded the assets, you have to go to the SRC directory and inside that SRC directory, just paste and extract the assets folder. That's it. See you in the next video. Super quick. Bye bye.